Hey guys, Nomis RC. Today we have a special little device. It's made by a company called Electron, and it is a V2L adapter. Vehicle to load. So some vehicles actually just have a 120 volt underneath the rear seat. Mine did not, but you can actually get the adapter for 120 bucks, right? Not a big deal. The one from Hyundai is like $550. So this is a great alternative. The reviews are awesome on it, and we're about to find out how well it works. So the first thing that we do is we go ahead and pop it in here, right? Just snap it in. Let's go into the vehicle now. So we will go ahead and power the vehicle on. Wait for it to boot up here, which is really, really fast. And to be honest, you guys, this car's menus are like, it's really nice that they're not laggy. You can use the car for hours and hours and the menus never lag. So let's go to our start here. All right. So on this screen right here, you actually have your vehicle to load is right there. And so you can click on that and you can tell it when you drain this battery, what is the minimum charge so that you don't kill it and then you can't get to a charge station in time. Right? Some people actually set it for like 40 or 50 because they want to be sure that they have plenty of miles left. So anyway, it's set to 30. I think I am actually going to bump that up to 50 because there's no reason for me to drain it any further than that. So now we want to hit the little gear right next to this. Right? And this shows us all kinds of stuff about our battery. Uh, it has a winter mode so that it warms up the battery because we all know, radio control people, we all know that batteries in the winter are crap. So this has warmers on it to keep the battery condition good. Utility mode. So this is your vehicle to load mode. So we're going to go ahead and activate it. And now it's on. Let's go ahead and plug something into the adapter and see what it does. So I have a couple of batteries here that we can go ahead and charge, right? So let's go ahead and plug this in. So we just pop this little door open. It gives us our 120 volt. And then I actually have something that I can plug in multiple things here. And so it did kick on our charger, right? So this is back inside the vehicle. We're starting out at 65%. So we still had 169 miles. Uh, well, with my current climate control, right? If we shut the climate control off, then we get the full 175. So you can actually see here that it will tell you 169 with the AC on, 175 with it off. Right? I like that little feature. So anyway, we're at 65%. It's kind of cool, too, the pixel lights that show you when your battery is charging. Now that it's discharging, it'll actually count them down while you're discharging. So kind of a neat little feature. This is all for demonstration purposes. Right? This is in no way saying how many hours you're going to get off this battery and what devices will go for how many hours. This is just a proof of concept. The battery is huge. You could use it to power all kinds of stuff for very long times. Here's an electric angle grinder. Right? We got it hooked up with the charger while the charger's going. Smoke them if you got them. So this is a circular saw. Right. And then once our battery is done, we'll check what the vehicle to load is at. And there you have it, guys. You can use this car to do all kinds of stuff. But really big feature for me with RC, and this appealed to me most, and I'm an RC guy. Normally I gotta carry around a generator to charge my batteries, right? Or a solar setup, right? Panels, a LifePo, a controller, all this crap. Now all I need is this device, and that's it. Obviously, 
this beautiful device. Batteries are done charging. These were 6S 2200s. Had two of them, was running at eight amp total. Let's go into the vehicle and see how much battery it used. So vehicle to load, we are still at 65%. We've ran an angle grinder and we've ran a circular saw. We've charged eight amps uh, for a total of uh, 4,400 milliamps and we're still at 65%, which I figured, right? This is a big ass battery. You're, you're not gonna use it that quickly. Um, so yeah, utility mode is awesome. I really, really think that uh, this is going to be super useful, especially for somebody like myself and all you guys out there that are RC people. Like this is going to eliminate your generators or maybe you haven't bought a generator yet. This is going to be super useful for you. As always, guys.